All right, y'all check this out. Here's a chuck, a lathe chuck that goes uh, on a lathe, on mini lathe. I bought this. Uh, you can buy them on Amazon. You'll find a link in the description box down below. You uh, unscrew it like this, and you can clamp a ring in it. Let's close this up some. You tighten it up. This will be inserted into your drill. And there you're able to get on the inside here of that lip and make it nice and pretty. Then if you need to like clamp the outside diameter instead of the inside, you can run these all the way out, flip them, put them back in, and you can actually clamp it from the other side. This may be big enough to do it now. Let's see. Without flipping them over. It's going to be close. Real close. Look at there. So then you can tighten it up. You can get the inside of your rings really good like this. You don't have to bottom it out right here. You can leave it... Uh, Leave a little gap in there and tighten it down. It finds dead center. It doesn't wobble. Close it back up. It might be best so you don't try to figure out which way opens and closes to take you a marker and draw you a marker on there which way to turn this. So let's give this thing a what for? Put it in our drill. Stay tuned, I'll tell you how I made it. Here you go. Look at that. Nice, that's right there, boy. So if you're like me, you've been using using these, which are great, but look how it cuts into it. Your sandpaper eats into it. Your rings eat into it. And it's more like a consumable than anything. you got to buy these rubber uh, bumpers to put back on there. And actually, if you want to, you can go to Lowe's and buy them a little cheaper than uh, what you can online at other places. So let me tell you how I made this. This on. So I bought this. You buy it on Amazon. The link in my description down below. Uh, it's going to have a different size thread on the inside of here. It's actually going to be a really fine machinist thread. It's going to be a 12 by 1. It's going to be a 12 millimeter with a one inch uh, with a with a one thread pitch. All right. So what you want to do is you want to take, you're going to have a hard time finding that unless you buy a $15 shaft. So what you do is you buy a 12, M12 by 1.75 tap. And then you take a M12 by 1.75 bolt. This had the hex head right here that I cut off. And you tap out, you you uh, open these jaws up all the way so you can get your tap all the way through there. And what you want to do is you want to put these lock nuts on there to where that when you screw this in, it doesn't go too far into this side or you're going to obstruct your jaws opening and closing. Uh, I'll open it up and show you what I'm talking about. If you're this far into the video or if you're even looking into it you probably already know what I'm talking about but see if I would if the it came through too much it would obstruct these from moving because it would this bolt will go all the way through the tap does you tap it tap it all the way through uh, put your lock nut on it 
a jam nut, I mean, uh, screw it in there, tighten up that one, and tighten up that one. Don't over tighten, because this is, uh, I'm not sure what kind of metal this is, but it's really soft. Uh, the metal on here, this feels like it might be stainless. This has got a little bit of weight to it. Uh, this, I don't know what this is. This is some kind of cast. And these right here are really light too. They might, they might be some kind of, uh, they don't look like they're machined. They might be cast as well. Uh, this is going to come with two rod wrenches. One rod goes in here, one rod goes in there. You hold this one and you turn that one, which actually you don't have to hold this one if it's in your drill. You can just take and put this the rod in this one and just hunker it down by turning it. So there you go. A mini lathe chuck for your drill. Cheap. Go on Amazon. Follow the link in my description. Pick you one up. If you buy it using the link, you'll actually help me out. Uh, you'll help me out. You'll support my channel if you use the link in the description. So thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, come back every Thursday's uh, new how-to and review video. And I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you.